Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Oppersen and today we are going to talk about an amino acid. We are going to talk about uh, the amino acid uh, glycine, which is uh, the smallest uh, of the uh, amino acids. So uh, it's the simplest one. So it also means that it will uh, be taken up by your skin very uh, easily for various uh, reasons, both for size, but also for other reasons, which we'll, we'll talk about uh, later. So uh, have we spoken about glycine before? Yes, uh, we have, because uh, glycine is uh, a part of uh, collagen, it's a very important part of collagen. And uh, it is also uh, a very important part of uh, glutathione, so the um, antioxidant that is uh, produced uh, in our body. So uh, glycine in general is uh, very uh, important for our body. But uh, today we are going to talk about it uh, in a little bit of a a novel way you can say because we are going to talk about it uh, in the sense of uh, if you have a uh, oily skin so if uh, you have too much uh, sebum being produced uh, on your skin uh, then or by your skin then um, this can uh, actually go in and help uh, with that so uh, we have uh, before spoken about a uh, another amino acid called uh, carnitine, so as a 2 l carnitine, and you can see uh, a video about that uh, up here. And uh, therein uh, I spoke about uh, how you can use that in order to um, make your skin less uh, greasy, and there were a uh, link to some uh, scholarly articles uh, about that. So I have used uh, l carnitine for a long while now, and it's not because I have any sort of particularly uh, greasy skin. Uh, I just use it in order to make sure that um, it was something that was uh, not uh, doing some harm to uh, the skin and it actually has a defect that it's supposed to have. So uh, recently uh, I started to use uh, glycine both because I am taking glycine as a uh, supplement uh, but uh, then uh, usually when I buy a supplement then uh, I'm thinking maybe I could uh, put it on my skin as well. So uh, that was uh, what happened when I uh, got hold of uh, glycine and I, I buy it from a company called Bulk and you can buy it many places, uh, but I, I uh, buy this one here. So uh, that is simply just a, a powder and there's nothing else in it but uh, glycine. So uh, I found out that if I used it on my skin, it um, made my skin look uh, nicer, it was more bright, it was more clear, and it was definitely less oily. But as I said before, I do not have particularly uh, oily skin. But uh, you can always, when you are maybe using a little bit of too much of a, a moisturizer sometimes, or if you're using a lot of uh, sunscreen, you can you get sort of it like a greasy uh, look. And I realized that uh, after using a glycine on my skin, um, it started to be very, um, matte in a sense uh, but it also felt very felt very uh, tight but not as in if you have used soap on your skin you will f and you shouldn't do that but if you have done that you know this kind of like really really tight feeling and you feel that your skin is being completely destroyed so when you're using a glycine on the skin then uh, what happens is that uh, your skin becomes a uh, rather uh, tight uh, but it feels uh, tight in the way that um it's not like you're feeling that you are lacking moisture in the sense that um, if you had used a soap on your skin, you kind of like, it will really annoy your skin and it would not just be tight, it would really like annoy your skin. You kind of like uh, get flakiness uh, on your skin and um, yeah, it would really be uh, terrible. So if you're using glycine on the skin, you get the same sort of um, very tight feeling, uh, but you also know that it is actually something that is um, is good for your skin. So it can penetrate your skin. So uh, in essence, it should be possible for the skin to take it up and use it uh, for collagen production. If it actually does that, I don't know, but in theory, that is what uh, should possibly uh, happen. So uh, what I did was uh, when I made uh, the carnitine solution, I used uh, a 2% solution. So this time here, when I was looking at the uh, glycine, I just went in and I took a scoop and uh, I just, one of these ones here that uh, usually comes with the bag. Uh, it, if you buy this bag here, then uh, it doesn't come with that bag because you would have another one coming with that bag and that looks like this. But uh, for some of the other bags from the same company, you get this sort of a bigger spoon. So uh, in here, there are uh, five grams of uh, glycine. So uh, what I did was I took a, a little um, container of uh, 100 milliliters. So uh, this one here, for example, there are 50 milliliters, but I had one that was uh, bigger. So I just took a, a scoop of this one. So 
glycine in this one here and add it and so what uh, happened because what can go wrong right so where uh, i uh, used that for a couple of days and i thought okay this is this is heavy stuff uh, so i just felt really really tight in this skin and um, i didn't had any sort of um, negative effect as such like um, my skin was uh, starting to act against it or something like that. It was just like a really, really tight uh, feeling on the skin, like a sense of tightness that I thought, okay, this is this is too much. So I started to look into how uh, glycine actually is uh, working on uh, the skin because I also noticed that my skin became even more clear than uh, it used to be. Um, and just if you could have sometimes, if you've been eating a, a little bit uh, too much uh, chocolate, I know that you don't get spots and stuff like that if you're eating chocolate, or that is what we are supposed to, be, to think, isn't it? Uh, I just feel that in those circumstances, I could maybe get a little bit of a, a sit here and there. Or uh, if I did not um, shave every day, so uh, if I just had a bit of stubbles going on, then um, it is more difficult to clean your skin. And in that sense, it could be maybe a little pimple uh, where one of the, um, the beard things are. So that just kind of like didn't happen, even that I did not shave for several days and so on. So, so some, something else is going on here as well. So. Um, Apart from uh, glycine is going in and uh, it is uh, making the skin uh, produce less sebum. So in that sense, you will have less food for bacteria. But also uh, what else is happening is that glycine in itself is uh, antibacterial uh, or it's anti-inflammatory. So it actually goes in and work uh, on uh, the skin in a way that um, inflammation will uh, start to be very much uh, less of. A problem so in that sense if you are having a uh, oily skin and because you have oily skin then you would have uh, acne and all that sort of uh, things that comes with that then uh, if you're using glycine then both you will uh, regulate uh, the amount of sebum that is produced on your skin but also you will have uh, an anti-inflammatory uh, effect and uh, actually uh, there are uh, various uh, bacteria that simply uh, cannot uh, survive if you are using a certain amount of uh, glycine. So what the percentage should be for really make a, an effect on killing bacteria, I don't know, I have, haven't looked into that, but I will link to some uh, articles below so that you can read uh, more about it uh, yourself. So uh, if you have oily skin and you are having tendency to have, um, we have acne prone skin, then glycine is something that is easy to go in and use. and. Uh, you get this sort of bag. I think there is 500 uh, grams in this one here and I can't remember what exactly it costs, but I mean, that will be for a very long time. So uh, it is very, um, it's a cheap option. So, and that is some of the, uh, if you have maybe noticed that uh, a lot of these videos here are about how you can DIY uh, your skincare in a sort of a safe way, because uh, I realized that not everybody can afford uh, to go out and buy uh, very expensive uh, products, because when you are on YouTube, you are not just um, catering for people uh, that are in uh, countries where most people will have uh, the ability to go and buy uh, expensive creams. And even here in England, a lot of people, they cannot just go out and buy a lot of uh, creams and stuff that are very expensive. So in order to provide some sort of solutions that, that works and that are easy to do and uh, that does not cost uh, a lot, then uh, glycine is a, a very a good option because it doesn't really cost a lot. It's so really, really easy to make. So how do I do it? Well, at the moment I mix it into some of my other uh, serums that I use myself and which I have spoken about uh, before. Uh, I have made a little bit of some changes to that, uh, to those serums and I will talk about that in some of my upcoming uh, videos. Uh, but uh, if you want to do something that is really easy and cheap to do, then have uh, one of these uh, spray things here that comes, this is from a, a travel kit. I think I bought it in, in Waitrose. You could get it in Boots and all sort of uh, pharmacies. So, um, this one here is just simply, that's just plain water, nothing else in it, apart from a glycine. So there is no preservative or anything like that. So if you don't want to go out and buy a preservative, you can just make something like this and make it for, so that it lasts a, a week and then uh, just keep it in the, the fridge or the refrigerator. So um, what happens is that um, if you uh, have cleaned your face uh, and you put this stuff on, it uh, might be a little bit, um, it might sting your face a little bit. 
so today what I did was uh, I um, scrubbed my face so um, that means that the skin and also shave so my skin would be a little bit more uh, like when I use this I can really feel it uh, but uh, I would say I didn't feel it as much as when I tried it out to begin with but also because the concentration in here is not that high uh, this is only a um, a 2% uh, solution because uh, when I started out it was actually a 5% solution so I was pretty strong so um, when uh, you put this one on uh, I would do it just after you have cleaned your face you can spray it on or you can just put it in your hands and then just dab it on and then you will get a sort of um, a little bit of a stinging feeling and that will kind of like go away and after that uh, then um, you will feel that your skin starts to to tighten so what happens is that you will produce less uh, sebum so uh, what also happens is that your pores will be much more uh, tight and actually if you use uh, too much of it it will be so very much tight that if you shine a light on your forehead it kind of like it looks like it's made of one solid piece like, like there are no uh, pores in it or something like that or at least uh, that's how it looks uh, on on my skin so maybe something also you can see uh, is uh, today i have my normal skincare on which i have as uh, spoken about in, in other videos and that will usually give a sort of a certain shine when you see me uh, on these videos here so what you maybe can see today which is different from some of the other videos is that my skin is uh, not as shiny as it sometimes is and that is simply down to i have used uh, this here which is just um, glycine in the water so um, that uh, really uh, helps uh, quite a lot but as i said don't uh, overdo it so what is there to say more about glycine well it is a, a neutral uh, amino acid so though it's called an amino acid it is actually a uh, neutral so if we just uh, take uh, this uh, indicator paper here which i have shown you before we can just have a little look at uh, how it performs so if we take uh, this here and just dab a little bit on the paper like that a little bit more so you can better see it you will see that uh, you get this sort of um, greenish uh, color so the paper is orange and uh, where i put the water on it starts to be kind of like green so uh, that means that we are down here uh, in this area here which is kind of like uh, about ph 7 so that is a, a neutral uh, amino acid so if we just take a, a little bit of just to demonstrate if you just take a, a glass of water and this is water here just dip it in there and you will get a sort of uh, the same uh, color maybe a little bit less uh, green but kind of like in the same uh, range so that means that you are dealing with a uh, neutral amino acid something uh, else uh, about glycine as an amino acid is that uh, it is actually a uh, hydrophobic uh, uh, amino acid so uh, that what it means is that it's a uh, depophilic so uh, what it means is that it is a uh, non-polar and that means that when you put it on your skin it is much more uh, compatible with your skin so it's much easier for it to uh, sink into your skin uh, compared to something that is very uh, hydrophilic which is, has uh, more of a difficulty uh, going into your skin so um, what uh, did i do uh, in this one here well i just took uh, a scoop uh, of this and that is kind of like here there are five grams so uh, five of these ones here will fill up this one here so in here there is about a uh, one gram uh, but this is uh, only a uh, 50 milliliters so uh, what that means is that it is a uh, two um, grams in a uh, hundred uh, milliliters and that is a two percent uh, solution so you can kind of like uh, start out with a two percent solution and then you can see uh, how it goes for your skin if you need a lot of more or if you need, need uh, less uh, but i would say that um if you make a, like a 5% solution as I did to begin with, you will definitely feel a, a, a strong difference and that will happen kind of like half an hour or something like that after you have uh, put it on and then you most likely will feel that you need to go in and add a bit more uh, moisturizer so uh, that tells you that uh, you need to uh, lower the concentration of uh, glycine in the um, spray or in the serum that you are making so uh, yes. I am using uh, other uh, amino acids and uh, various other things uh, in the uh, serums that I uh, use. So if you'd like to see more of that uh, sort of videos as I've done today where I talk about how I am using uh, amino acids uh, in my skincare, then uh, please subscribe, hit the bell and do all the things you must do in order to be notified when I upload more of those sort of videos. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.